what an amazing performance. Um, if you don't mind, I, I'd love to give, him, to give Kubert and Dana a round of applause again, because it really blew me away. Um, dear, dear partners and, and members of the World Economic Forum, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, what an exciting three days. Creating value through innovation, or how do you as a leader nurture and foster creativity to drive innovation and generate value for your organization, for yourself, and for the societies in which we live? Yesterday's session, Creative Disruption, encapsulates nicely, in my mind, the theme of this year's meeting. During the discussion, we sought to understand what is entrepreneurial disruption? Which industries are facing it in the next 15 years? And what are the implications for the enterprises, the industry, and public policy? We agreed that innovations are happening across the board in all industries and sectors of the government, from education to matchmaking, from fast food to manufacturing, and as we just discovered, in music as well indeed. Some are truly game-changing, such as shale gas extraction, but many are less discernible, happening behind the scenes in systems and processes, and nonetheless impacting profoundly the way we live and work. Many of you are joining us for the first time here in Tianjin, and I would like to reflect on some highlights that I believe represent the spirit of this gathering, and in particular, the spirit of the new champions communities. For the first time at this annual meeting, we had the new champions ceremony yesterday, celebrating and highlighting the achievements of the communities that comprise the foundation of this gathering. In the session, the future of the internet economy, we had high-ranking US and Chinese officials on a panel together for the first time, discussing the internet and the digital economy. Uh, the World Economic Forum is dedicating significant effort to continue the conversation in this critical area. And then there was an impromptu meeting yesterday in the challenge booth, those white uh, round uh, uh, booths that look like flying saucers in the village, where a, a number of you gathered ad hoc and started a discussion on how to solve the problems in some of the current conflict zones in the world which require our immediate attention. And for those of you who were there, I apologize for my colleagues having to interrupt you as I hope that you are able to pursue uh, this dialogue further. And then there was the Ocean Dome, which I heard was quite a highlight for many of you. So as we move on to, uh, as you move on to your next journeys this afternoon, it's our wish, it's my wish, that you take with you the ideas that you gained, the experiences and exchanges that you had. And I would like to thank you for your active engagement and would like to leave you with a quote that I saw written on one of the scribe boards, uh, one of these whiteboards which we use in many of our sessions. The quote reads, we are not good at guessing the future, we'd better source creativity. Of course, this meeting would not have been possible without the relentless support of the city of Tianjin, with whom we have built a close partnership over the last eight years, and I would like to thank Mayor Huang Xingguo and the, municipal, the municipality of Tianjin for welcoming us here. And I'd also like to thank my colleagues uh, and all the staff who've made this meeting, uh, I, I believe, an enriching experience for our guests. Distinguished Mayor, Mr. Huang Xingguo, I would like to thank you and all the hospitality shown by the Tianjin citizens, and you have uh, making tremendous efforts uh, in preparing the Davos meeting to be a great success. Mr. Mayor, thank you very much. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The Summer Davos Forum 2014 has completed all the agenda and will successfully come 
to a close. For the past three days, Tianjin has once again become the focus of the world. Premier Li Keqiang's brilliant speech is the greatest highlight of the forum. 1,800 elite participants from various circles in the world have held in-depth discussions, brainstormed ideas, and explored sound strategy on the theme of creating value through innovation, thus putting forward many new concepts, new points of view, and new solutions, and sowing the seeds of wisdom which will yield fruitful results in the future. We feel that sparks of ideas are blooming like flowers, and inspiration of innovation bursts forth forcefully. The broad consensus resulting from in-depth communication is the best annotation of Davos' spirit. We can see that friendship has been more and more deepened while sharing the advanced ideas and concepts and successful experience, we have enhanced mutual understanding and trust, made more friends, and become cooperative partners. We think that innovation is the quintessence of Davos Forum. With innovation, the world has become more beautiful and our life more wonderful. There is no limit to innovation. We should embrace innovative ideas with action forever. We believe that so long as we set sail for innovation and forge consensus and cohesiveness, the giant ship of world economy will navigate through wind and waves on the way to great prosperity. We hope that in the refreshing season of autumn 2016, all the friends will meet again in Tianjin to renew friendship and accomplish another feast of ideas. Let's look forward to that day. At the moment of reluctant farewell, I would like to express once again our thanks to Mr. Shrub and the executive board of the forum. I also want to thank all the honored guests for your enthusiasm and participation, Chinese ministries, commissions, and Dalian City for your support, and all the volunteers and work staff for your hard work. Finally, I wish all the friends good health and a pleasant journey home. Thank you. I'd like to invite Mayor Chu Xiaofei of Dalian, who will welcome us next year in Dalian from September 9th through 11th. Respected uh, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, during the two days annual meeting of new champions and uh, at the moment of the closing ceremony, on behalf of uh, Dalian Municipal Government and myself, I would like to give my sincere congratulations on the success of this annual meeting. The participants, based on the innovation and uh, through creating value, has discussed in various areas which will be conducive to the healthy development of China and the whole world. Tianjin city well uh, uh, organizing this meeting it has uh, provided high quality services uh, good practices can be applied uh, to dalian which will be very precious opportunity uh, experience for us for the next year dalian uh, based on by taking opportunity of hosting the annual meeting has experienced and witnessed the vigor and wisdom of the participants all over the world and has contributed greatly to the regional and the local economic development. We enjoyed to be 
one of the members of the whole family, Dalian, wanted to be a fashion uh, city and uh, want to showcase to the whole world its vigor and uh, charisma in the world. Uh, the new uh, area is being under construction in Dalian with the name to facilitate economic development and bring its influence to the rest of the city. We have uh, worked on the regional and international cooperation with our counterparts all over the world. We think that uh, it is the high time for us to attract more investment. And uh, I really want to give my sincere invitation to all of you, the participants and experts, the scholars, the media friends, and the business people to come to Dali to participate in the next annual meeting and to experience the hospitality of Dalian people and to, uh, you know, to enjoy the uh, beautiful scenery of Delhi. We are committed to providing high quality service to next uh, annual meeting. We want to join hands with all of you so as to build a better life and a better future for Delhi. In conclusion, I really want to welcome all of you to the next year annual meeting of new champions in Delhi in 2015. Thank you very much. Uh, for a lunch in the village uh, offered by the uh, municipality of Tianjin. Thank you very much.